For our project, we did the movie Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Anakin Skywalker was a Jedi Knight from the planet Tatooine in the Star Wars universe. He is raised to fight e evil on the light side of the Force, but his ego quick quickly catches up with him as he is called the Chosen One and is told that he will become one of the most powerful Jedi by all of his masters. He ends up becoming too hungry for power and obsesses over complete control over his fate. Eventually, he is turned to the dark side of the Force and becomes evil. His obsessions with his own self-image and his thoughts of superiority. People that suffer from narcissistic personality disorder are typically self-centered and have a need for attention and admiration. They have fantasies for success and power and are very arrogant. They want to feel superior to everyone else because they, uh, they're just arrogant. There are 10 disorders arranged into three clusters and the narcissistic personality disorder falls into cluster B or the dramatic erratic. Uh, cluster of the personality disorder category. Throughout the movie, Anakin shows signs of this disorder with his actions. He shows a desperate need for admiration and power when he keeps confronting Kenobi about being a Jedi Master on the Council. When he was not given in his demands, he just resorted to violence to get his power. Anakin also shows that he feels superior to every other Jedi by secretly marrying Padme, which is against the Jedi Code. This shows how Anakin wants all the prestige of a Jedi, but he wants to do it by his rules. Anakin is missing the inability or unwillingness to recognize the needs and feelings of others. Although Anakin displays just about every symptom of this disorder, he does seem very in tune with his lover Padme's emotions and feelings throughout the movie. He is compassionate to her throughout the movie, and she is, only, is the only character that he seems to have a true connection with. One possible treatment for Anakin is that he could uh, attend a psychoanalytic therapy. In the solution, he would talk to someone that would sit behind him and uh, hope to gain insight into his unconscious thoughts and to explore the childhood events that caused his disorder. Typically, the therapist sits behind him and there is no distraction in the room so that they can reach the unconscious without him thinking or getting distracted by something. Doing this would uncover the trouble he had growing up as a slave without a dad and losing his mother at an early age. This solution would use ideas such as hypnosis and free association to make connections to his unconscious and explore the conflicts of his id, ego, and superego. Using this method would help Anakin develop strategies to deal with future problems and identify what is occurring in his mind to stop him from thinking that he is better than everyone else. Anakin is not formally diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder and also seems to show traces of other disorders. However, Anakin still shows an accurate but very extreme portrayal of the disorder throughout the movie. Anakin shows many tendencies of the disorder, but he still took everything to extreme resolutions, which can show the disorder in its most radical form. This can lead to people thinking that people with the disorder are more insane than they actually are. We believe that narcissistic personality disorder is not diagnosed in all cultures due to the fact that many cultures have social classes in which some individuals are given higher status and are considered to be superior to the lower class of individuals. By telling people that they are superior to others, they will act in a narcissistic manner and, give, and the disorder will simply be viewed as a result of the society. One stigma that is associated with this disorder in our culture is social media because it gives individuals a heightened sense of self-importance and can make one feel superior to someone simply based on their follower count.